every woman that is with a professional chess player is a manager, psychologist, to coach, <laughs> everything. Uh, by games, it's Magnus Carlsen. Welcome to FIDE Grand Prix 2022. I'm Wunger Master Dina Belenke, and today I'm joined by Annie, Livon's Aronian fiancée. Annie, hello, and thank you for coming. Hi, thank you for inviting me. Annie, the perhaps most important question and the topic that I would like to start our conversation with is you're here in Berlin with Livon. Where is Ponchik right now? Ponchik is in Armenia with my parents, with his grandmother and grandfather. <laughs> and uh, they're taking care of Panchik for now. He's, we thought it will be very sad for him to stay without us. But to be honest, he's very happy. <laughs> and uh, it's a little bit surprising for us. But of course, we're happy because he's happy. He's in love with my father. And now he's a betrayer. He betrayed us. <laughs> wow, no way. So you basically did not take him uh, with you when you moved to the United States? No, we didn't. Because, you know, we're traveling all the time. And that would be very stressful for him all the time in the airplanes. And also we couldn't leave him with someone in the United States because we don't have so many friends. Well, only Fabiano Caruana, but I don't think he would take care of Punchy. And especially he's well known for his love for cats, yeah. so it wouldn't work either. I think it's an exception because he loves Punchy. Okay. But uh, as he's also traveling all the time with Levon and with me, then he couldn't take care of him. And on your professional level, uh, what was it like for you to, to change country? Did it affect somehow the, the job that you do, the things that you are interested in uh, what was the main change uh, in this path for you? Well, it was a huge change because uh, I'm a singer and uh, I sing jazz and in Armenia I used to perform in many places and I used to work with uh, some great composers in Armenia so I had to leave everything behind and move with Levon. But uh, for me, as priority is Levon, <laughs> then my professional life, and I know that I could do it also in the United States. Uh, for us artists, it's not a big deal to change the location because if you're going to record a song, you can always come back, work with your uh, producer, work with your artists, your musicians, and then record somewhere else. So, or record in Armenia. Uh, during my stay in U United States, I went to Armenia already for three times and I did three recordings and uh, I think soon it will be available on YouTube and I can represent my art. So um, I'm happy uh, for at this moment I decided it was a mutual decision by me and Levon for our family and um, I'm happy and satisfied with everything I do and I have. As far as I've heard, the best uh, musicians are in the United States. So yes. did you consider this uh, to be, in fact, a big opportunity for you to, to develop uh, in the future as a... Every artist, not, not only in jazz, but also pop music, rock music, jazz music, blues music, everything is connected with the United States. The culture is very developed. The music is the musical industry comes from the United States. So of course it is uh, there is an opportunity. But uh, when if you mean by moving there, um, I could also stay in Armenia. I could live in Armenia and I could do my work in the United States. So I don't know. Let's just see. But usually I work. Uh, with Armenian artists. So even in United States, when I have to do some recording, I usually do something with Armenians. I don't know why, because uh, we have a great community in uh, St. Louis. We have over 100 Armenians there, 
and we are friends with all of them already. Hell is all of the Armenians. Yeah. You're, you, you don't know uh, each, uh, each other, but you already opened your door. Well, they, yes, <laughs> but also they know Levon, so it was much easier to make friends. And uh, they knew him over 13 years because every time he would go to St. Louis Cup, Singfield Cup, yeah. uh, they would come to cheer for him. So all of them were showing us their pictures like 13 years ago or something like that. But yes, we, we, we Armenians love to party, we love to eat, we love to work, but not so much. We love to <laughs> party more. Okay, okay, yes. I see your way. So basically they were already waiting for you and it was a big uh, happiness that you decided to come. Yes, they were waiting us th for us and they are still waiting for us even now. They are in touch with us. They are cheering for Levon and wishing good luck every day and saying that when we go back, they're going to celebrate. <laughs> I don't know. Wherever you are, when you have your, the same person, a person from your nation, you always feel comfortable. Do you just help him, let's say, morally? You support him? Or do you also take over all the managing stuff, uh, emails, uh, airplane tickets? Uh, do you like fully integrate as his uh, fiance? fiance. <laughs> I wanted to say, you know, I wanted to go with a manager. Like speaking of, let's say, um, being with a professional chess player. Yeah, um, I think every woman that is with a professional chess player, is a manager, psychologist, a coach, <laughs> everything. So uh, definitely yes, I do the organizational uh, stuff, I help him morally, I support him psychologically, I support him with love, so in any aspect that is possible. But uh, in case of tickets or something like that, uh, Levon has a, a worker and she's helping us, uh, so I'm lucky because I have enough stuff to do. You should uh, keep a chess pl player away from usual life, exactly. from daily things, yeah. so that's what I'm trying to do. So I have to do anything that is not related with chess, but uh, Levon is always happy to help me. Uh, it's not, he is asking me to help with something and I'm always ready, of course, because I think that uh, if you want to achieve some success in your life, it's natural. It's not something good, something very special that I help him. It's very natural and a common thing. When you love a person, you help him and uh, he helps me in everything. And I'm sure that if one day I will need him to do something for me, he will not even think about it. He will do for sure. Every time people ask me, are you a chess player? Do you know how to play chess? I answer, yes, but no, I'm not a professional. Okay. And Levon <laughs> tells me that every time I say this, people think that I'm 2000, something uh. like that. <laughs> And then I started answering no, <laughs> but I play chess. I'm an amateur, so am I playing with black? Yeah, <laughs> is that the deal? Let's go. <laughs> okay. No, I, I obviously joking. I was joking. Yeah. That's one move. That's enough. <laughs> Perfect choice. Um, hopefully, it's gonna be Berlin. In Berlin, <laughs> we'll leave that uh, uh, as a suspicion. Speaking of adventures, uh, he's. Uh, his style of, uh, of clothing, of fashion, uh, doesn't he, does it come from him or from you? Or who is the grandmaster in fashion between the two of you? As you know, you have been following Levon for years. He always, uh, he used to wear very adventurous shirts all the time. So it's not me. But um, now, uh, as I'm, I'm a lover of fashion, I am very interested in fashion and now I'm wearing Armenian uh, clothes uh, by Armenian designers. Um, I, I started doing these shirts in um, Paris for Levon 
and uh, it kind of became popular. Uh, so I did one um, design with uh, African uh, couture in Paris. Wow. And uh, I just did it randomly because I know that Lavon loves these colors and I got inspired by his fashion. And uh, everybody liked it. In India, I got so many compliments and even orders from some chess players and uh, other people. I got very inspired and uh, I started painting uh, design, fashion, making some um, demos. <laughs> but uh, I'm inspired by Levon's fashion, he's inspired by my fashion, so it's a family thing. We're both uh, very fashionable. <laughs> And uh, it's a, always fun for us to choose clothes for him. I choose something, I, as he doesn't have time to go shopping, I go uh, to shops and I choose some shirts for him and I already know what he likes, so it's easy for me. When I see something that is not normal, <laughs> then he will like it. <laughs> well, probably the last question for today. I've been asking players, participants of Grand Prix, uh, who is their favorite female chess player whose games they like to follow? Obviously, for you it would be Levon, but assuming Levon is not possible as an answer, who would be for you the your favorite chess player? By personality, it's uh, Fabiano Carana, because he's also a friend of ours. And uh, by games, it's Magnus Carlsen. Aww, aww. I'm sorry. Uh, I <laughs> was waiting for something. Okay, can we ban something. please Levon and Magnus? <laughs> you know, it's like when I ask players, um, who is the strongest player that you ever played? And I always add, please do not mention Magnus. You know, <laughs> it's enough. Can we speak about uh, uh, there are other players? Well, yeah, but it's no, 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 it, it's okay, it's okay. It's, it's normal. It's normal, it's normal, of course. Very Good. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's very a good. genius, and I think uh, all the professional players would answer that it's Magnus. <laughs> well, nice. I will answer it Levon with his creativity, but <laughs> as you said, I cannot say that. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, Magnus, but after Levon. I cannot say that because I'm not a professional in chess. So, uh, if I answer Levon, it's more emotional because I love him. Sure. Uh, I know that he's very considered to be very creative with his style and very adventurous with his play. Ani, thank you so much for um, having taken time to speak to us. It thank was you. a big pleasure to meet you I and uh, best of luck to Levon for the upcoming uh, rounds, Grand Prix and uh, I wish you an amazing stay in Berlin. Thank you. Thanks.